So before we move to the update and delete, let's add the buttons here. So each review will have a menu here and the menu contains two buttons, one for the edit and one for the delete. So let's do that now. So after the component rating, after this div, let's add another div. We give it a class deflex and flex column and justify or align items to the center. And inside we will have a button and this button will contain or we'll have a class beta n beta n sm and beta n uh, danger and the margin bottom of two and inside let's add the bi and the bi trash which is the icon and we need another one another button for updating uh, a review and this one will have a warning class and also a margin bottom of two and here a pencil which is the icon so let's save and take a look and as you can see we have uh, the two buttons but they are not here so we need the two buttons to be here so let's go to the top and check what is wrong here. So here we need the justify content between not to center. Let's save and take a look. And I think nothing changed. So here inside the LI we have, uh, so I think I forgot the deflex here. So let's save and take a look. And now it's looking better. So I said before that we will have a menu. So not a menu. So just two buttons. One for deleting and one for editing. Not a menu. So I say the menu. Sorry for this. It's, not, it's, it's a menu. So we have here two buttons. One for editing and one for deleting. So now we need to add functionality, the functionality to these two buttons so we can update and delete. So let's start by updating and later we will move to delete. And for updating, so we need to, uh, once we click on this function or in this button, we need to call function. So let's add function. So the function, we will give it name edit review. Let's name it edit review and uh, this function will take the review that we want to edit and what we will or what will this function do it will only emit an event like we have done inside add so here inside add review so we will only emit an event so let's bring this one from here and put it here so let's define the emits and let's change this one to review review let's change it to edit review so let's change it to edit review event and uh, this as i said so here we only define the emits or the event but here we call or we trigger the event so let's Let's bring this one from here and add it here inside the function. So here we trigger the events. And so not this, we only need the edits. And we send the review as param. So here we send the review. Now we need to listen to this event. So once it's triggered, but before we do that, let's add here at click so once we click on this button we need to call the function which is the edit review and give it the review that we want to update which is this one so now we have the review all we need to do now is to listen to this event so we need to listen to it inside our component which is this one so like we have done here so let's bring this one and put it here 
and events as we say so i think uh, so the red line is this one okay so i thought that i have something wrong so the event is uh, this one which is the not edit review let's go back so it's edit review event sorry so let's it's edit review events and we need uh, to call uh, functions so as so once we get the event, we need to call a function. So let's do that now. So the function will be edit review. So not the edit review that uh, we have here, not this one. So don't be confused. Where is it? Not this one. So not here, but here. So not this one. So we will define another function here. Or you can rename it to update or edit because you will only display the, the review in the form but later we will add the function to update so for now we will only once this event so once i click on this button the review will be displayed here and this one will be changed from add review to edit review so let's go back where is let's go back to where here we are in the product uh, in the products dot view and add the function that we said which is the edit review so let's let's first we need to add another here inside the data we need to add another variable this one will hold the, the review that we want to update so let's add it now so review to update and this uh, review will have the same thing same data that we had inside that we have inside the review which is the title the body and the rating but here we will give it different properties which is the updating and we will give it false so for now just follow me and later i will explain everything and a data and the data for now will be null so now we have the review to update inside data prop data uh, data variable that we have defined here which is the reactive so we need to add function so let's just copy this one and paste it here and i'll say the function uh, name will be as we have uh, seen the function name will be uh, edit review and edit review will have will have the review that we want to edit and what we will do we will change here the data dot review to updates and we give it so here inside the updating so we will set the updating to true because we are updating a review and the data will have the review that we want to update so that's all so once the user clicks on a review that he wants to update for example this one so here we will we will trigger this or we will execute this function that will get the review and give it to the, the variable or the objects that we have already defined here which has the updating and the data so the updating will be true and the data will have the review now we have the review to update and the updating or the review or the updating property which is true but we don't have the form for updating so we will use or we will add another form and this form will be for updating a review so let's do that now so here inside reviews let's add another component which is updates.view and this component will have the same thing and as the add review so i wanted to use the same component to not repeat ourselves but uh, but i found that we will be confused with code so we need to do a lot of uh, lot of testing inside the add so i decided to add another one to avoid uh, confusion uh, to avoid making you confused between the two components so this component will have 
same thing as uh, as I said as the ad review. So here we have the title and uh, and also we have the body and we have uh, the rating uh, component and also we need here a button but this one will be for updating so let's change it to update and here it will be a warning button and also it will be disabled and we will add another function which is update review so uh, for the next we have the compute and the reactive same thing it's star rating axios use toast and we define the toast we define the review we have the props here the props here we will get the review to update as props so here review to update and it will be an object and the required is true and also we need the product so i removed the product let's keep the products here because when we update so if we move here to the epi when we update, we provide products ID and the review ID. So we need both here, the review that we want to update and the product, uh, the product that we want to update his review. And uh, also we will uh, add another event here. We will emit another event, which is the review updated. So once the review is updated and here, the here the disabled so for disabled uh, or for disabling the button we will use the same thing if we don't have the review dot title dot body dot rating and fine and the, the final thing that we need to do before we before we store or we update the review let's change this one to update the review or okay let's add the, the function and later we will add the final thing. So here it's update. So it will take us, as I said, as we have seen. So here we need to provide, we need to provide the products ID and the review ID, and then we add update. So here let's change it to update. So as I said, we need products ID and then the review ID. So here we have the products ID from the props, and we need also to provide. The review id and the review id will be so let's add here a slash and the review id will be inside data dot review dot id so now we have here the update and we need to send the data as we have seen in in the add review we need to send the title the body and the rating and the user id will be just a random number and finally we empty the review and we need to emit the event so the event will be this one that we have defined we emit the event and we send the product to the parent and we tell the user that it's updated so i think that i have uh, an extra d here so here let's remove this one so here as i said let's go back so here it's updated successfully and the timeout is two seconds and finally we need to use a non-mounted here and once the component is mounted so we will get as we have seen so we will get this prop which is the review that we want to update and once we have this review that we want to update so we will give it to the review that we have already defined and we will get it from the props dot review to update so this one so we will populate the review that we have here with the review that we want to update and once we that's done so the form will be filled with the review that we want to update so let's save now but we need to add we need to add or to check if we are updating we will display the add review but let's let's go back here i think that i did not change the title so let's go to 
So where is it? So the title is not here, but the title is here. So we will change this title based on the status of the updating that we have here. So let's do that now. So let's copy this title and check or let's uh, let's add it and add another one so this one is edit a review and this one is add a review so this title we will display it only if we are not uh, updating and to do that we can check for the data dot review to update that we have already defined and updating so if we are not updating we will display add a review if we are updating and here else we will display edit a review so let's check and as you can see now we have the add review so here we don't have any error so let's let's uh, choose this review and as you can see here it's changed to add a review not add a review but it changed to edit a review so now let's check also if we are updating so we will display the add review component if we are if we are not updating so we will display the add review component else we will display the update review component so let's do the same thing so here if we are not updating so we will display this component and same thing here let's copy and paste and here let's change it to update update review so we will import it and here it's the else and we need uh, to send as we have seen we need to send the review that we want to update and the review so let's go back here so the review to update which is the props this one so we need to send it not the data not the review inside the data we are sending the prop which is the review to update so let's change this one to review to update and it will be inside the data dot review to update dot data so don't be confused so here inside the review to update we have the data and the review to update in, is inside the data you can change the name of the variable or change the property here if you want so it's data dot review to updates dot data and also we need to provide the product so let's provide products because we need also the product id and the product is also inside data dot product and finally we need to listen to this event that we have emitted when we updated the review so once we updated review we need to set the product the same thing as we have done here but we need to add something else inside set product so we need to check if we are updating we need to change the change the variables that we have defined here which is the review to update we need to change the property here to false and set data data to null so let's bring uh, this one and uh, here we need to test so if review or if data dot review to update dot updating if we are updating that means we are updating so we need to as i said to set the review to update to default value which is this one so the updating will have false and the data will be null so that's all so let's check and see what we have here so if we click here so we have something wrong here let's check so fail to resolve so custom elements what is the problem here so routes so something is wrong here so what is the problem so this one which is this one and this one so i think the problem is inside the, the so this part of the code so let's fix it now and continue
So the problem is simple that I did not import the components. That's why. So the, let's import it. So that's why it's tell, telling us that he failed to resolve the component. So let's import it and uh, put it here. So it's update review. Let's save for now. Let's refresh the page and see what we have here. So we still have the same problem, which is the fail to resolve. So why it's failing to resolve? So we have already added the, so it's update, so only update. So let's change it to update review. So I want to name it update review, not update. So we know that this component is updating a review. So let's refresh the page now and check what we will have. So now we have the product details. Let's check for the console. We don't have any error. Let's check here. So let's choose this one. As you can see, we have edit review. I love this products, dot products, rating and update. Let's check for this one that has, uh, this one that has only one uh, review. And I think that nothing changes so here we have something wrong let's check and see what is wrong nothing if we click again so nothing happened i think that we have something wrong so let's fix it now so to fix this problem so let's add another function here let's copy this one and paste it and also let's rename it to cancel updating and uh, here what we will do we only will check if the data dot review dot updates uh, dot review to updates dot updating is true so we will uh, change the data dot review to updates the updating to false and data to null so here inside the so here inside update to review, so we will add another function. Let's go to the top. So here let's add another function, not function, but button and call it and add it here or call or use uh, the text, which is cancel. And this button, we don't need to make it disabled. And uh, once we click on this button, so we will uh, add or we will add or uh, trigger another function so let's call it uh, cancel cancel update and what we will do so we will define another event here so let's call it cancel updates or updating and once done we need to emit this event so let's do it now so here so let's remove this one and call or use cancel updating bring it and put it here so we need to once we click on this button so we need to cancel updates and we need here to listen to the events. So here is the event. So here inside updates, we need to uh, listen to this event, which is cancel. So what's the name of the event? So the name of the event is cancel. So this one, it's cancel updating. And once we have the event, so we will call the function, which is cancel updating. So let's see what we will have. So let's refresh the page and take a look and see if everything is working or not. Uh, so th something uh, gets wrong or what is the problem here? So let's refresh the page. I think just something wrong with network. Uh, refresh the page just to be sure that we uh, don't have any error. So that's why I am refreshing every time so we don't have any error so i thought i think that the problem was just slow network so let's try for now to uh, update this one so let's change this button color where is it 
so it's inside updates review so let's move to top so let's change it to primary and give it margin left and right of two let's see now so as you can see now it's better so if i click on cancel so we are going back to add a review and i can update another review if i want so if i click here can choose another one because so if i choose another one so it's not if i click update again so it's not working so it takes only the first one so to avoid this problem so that's why i found this uh, fast solution if you have uh, any solution better than this you can you can use it and share it with us in the comments so now we will use only this simple solution and if you have any solution so share it with us in the comments so now if we want to update this one and make it uh, make it uh, great product and here great product i love it and hit uh, update and nothing happens let's check why and as you can see here we have an error let's check network tab post method is not supported for this route so i made a mistake here sorry for it uh, so not here but inside updates so it is the function so down so i did not change this one to put so it's put not post request so let's do that again so as you can see review has been updated successfully so where is it that review so i think it did not update so it was oh it's here so it's great product i love it but i think that we have chosen this one oh not this one but this one has bad products awful so let's 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 try again just to be sure so, so sometimes i am confused so but because the two reviews had bad products this one i think has one star and the other one has three stars okay so let's add four stars here and change it to not a bad product at all and here uh, not uh, bad products and not awful so let's save and the review has been updated successfully let's go to the top so as you can see not bad products at all not bad not bra bad product and not awful and we give it four stars so it's working as expected so let's try again to update this one let's give it five star and we don't change anything so now review has been updated successfully and it's now five star so as you can see so let's change also this one to five star and check if it will be here five star or not so let's update so review has been updated and now it's five star so everything is working as expected so what's left so let's delete functionality and as i said if you did not like this solution and you have any solution better than this you can share it with us and we can use it so instead of uh, calling the cancel and choosing another product we need to once we click on another product we need form to be filled with the other product so if we have if you find any solution for this share it with us in the comments and let's move to the delete uh delete review so let's do that now